Hey guys, it's been a while. By that I mean I haven't done a video like this where I have the camera like in my usual spot where I record in a while. My last two videos have been like uh, a, a different style of videos and those those videos didn't really do that well so maybe I won't do those anymore. But whatever, I'll see people like those. Now we're back to this style. Anyways, let's get on to the video. We're not wasting any time here. People say my videos are too long so let's make them short. Let's go. I Long story short, if you're if you're looking that that I'm gonna explain like how good you should be at acoustic guitar, I'm gonna put a video right here, right here. Watch this video. This is how good you should be at one year guitar. Pretty much after your transition from acoustic to electric. Before you transition from acoustic to electric, you should be able to do all the things in these videos. Yeah, mostly everything. And yeah, so watch that video and come back. All right, you're back. All right, now you should have. This bad boy. It's an electric guitar. I don't care if it's a Stratocaster, whatever the hell the different types of guitars are, but we're gonna lower the volume for now. But basically, yeah, I'm gonna teach you now how you should how you should handle your transition from acoustic to electric. People say like, oh, you should start from scratch. Oh, you should dive right into the solos, like all that stuff. Um, I'm gonna show you exactly what you should do to become a good electric guitar player. Also, if you guys have any personal questions about anything, I'll leave a link to my Instagram and my Twitter right here. You guys could go follow me. Follow me so I know you're from these videos, so you're not some random stranger, but follow me. Ask me any questions. I reply in like two days tops, and that's really it. Just ask me any questions you have. Follow me, and that's it. All right, if you're wondering what guitar this is, it is a Michael Kelly guitar i have no idea what model it, what it is i actually have no idea like even if you ask me to look i can't find it like I, i'm pretty sure i threw out like the whole box and everything but it is a really lovely guitar it was like 400 bucks uh it, it, it was definitely worth the money all right so basically before you get onto any of the <laughs> Before you get onto any of that, I want you to basically spend your first couple days of playing electric guitar, treat it as exactly as you would as playing your acoustic guitar. Just play the same songs as you would on your acoustic guitar, play the same riffs, play the same notes, same tuning, all that stuff. If you have to put a capo on, that's okay. Just for like a week or maybe even a couple days, just treat your electric guitar exactly as you would treat your acoustic guitar for like the first week or so. Just play the same songs just so you could get a feel of your electric guitar and just know how it works. All right, so after a week, now this is what I want you to start doing. Now, before you dive into the all those things, I'm not gonna play that again. Uh, people say you should relearn the guitar. That is not true. What I want you to start learning is that I'll put the volume. Hold up. Let me change the setting. All right. Now we have a somewhat more readable tone. So what I want you to do is start learning these things called power chords. Power chords are super easy. They're like an easy version of bar chords. But you know like that rock and roll sound like the... That sound. I want you to learn those. It is basically a series of three notes. Two or three notes. And it is based on the root. So... If you go on the B note, it is the first fret of the A string. The B note, is that B flat or B? I'm pretty sure that's B flat. Okay, so we'll go up. We'll go on the sec, we'll go on the third fret of the A string and we play that. I'll put the chord diagram right here. Third fret on the A and fifth fret on the D and G. And if we only play those strings, we're not playing the E, the, uh, we're not playing the E, the B, and the high E. We're only playing the A, D, and G. And follow the chord chart right here. If we play that, we get that. And if we scoot that same shape just down one fret, we get... And down one more fret, we get... And if we take the whole shape and move it up one fret, like actually up like one string, you get... And move that string, move that shape up two frets you get all these chords that sound like rock and roll and basically just start learning these start learning like start look like look up stuff on youtube like songs with power chords or like how to start with power chords just focus on power chords for like a week or two and that should really help you get a feeling of everything right, so now you can play all the <laughs> Now you can play all that. Now what I want you to do is you to start diving into hammer-ons and pull-offs. Hammer-ons and pull-offs and even slides are great ways to learn an electric guitar. Like, do you know what a hammer-on is? Like a... And a pull-off. And a slide up. Like all those songs. A great song to learn for electric guitar, if you've been playing acoustic guitar, is Dream On. 
You don't like the beginning? Let me see if I can play it for you guys. Hold on. Yes. Yeah, like that is a great song to learn for electric guitar beginners if you've been playing acoustic guitar because it has like all these hammer-ons, it has all these pull-offs, it has all these slides. You shouldn't really be diving into like the distortion yet, but you will. Don't worry. Just give like a month of electric guitar, play it as you would acoustic, learn some power chords, and learn some like hammer-on and pull-off songs. And once you're that, I would say like maybe two, three weeks, then you can move on to all the solo. Guys, literally, if you think about it, electric guitar is, it's whatever you want. Whatever you want to learn. Maybe you don't want to only learn distortion. Maybe you want to learn blues. So basically, what I'm trying to say in this video, spend like a month of just playing the, the electric guitar as you would play your acoustic guitar. And maybe like on the second or third week, start learning power chords, start learning hammer rods and pull-offs. And then after a month, start learning whatever you want. If you want to learn blues, learn blues. If you want to learn solos, if you want to learn distortion, learn distortion. If you want to learn country, learn country. If you want to learn acoustic songs on electric, just go it. it. It's whatever you guys want, but I would just say spend like a couple weeks playing the electric guitar as you would your acoustic. And then start learning all these different techniques, and then just learn whatever you want. And also, this goes for acoustic guitar as well. Try If you played electric guitar first, and then transitioning into acoustic, I would say just play your acoustic guitar as you would play your electric guitar for like a week or two, and then just learn whatever you want. Yeah, that is really it for, yeah, that is really it for this video. That is really it. Uh, I didn't have much to say because I feel like this was such a quite easy concept, but I got a few comments about this, so it goes out to all you guys who left the comment. So yeah, that's the end of the video. If you guys have any personal questions about anything, I'll leave a link to my Instagram and my Twitter right here in the description. Go follow me so I know you're from these videos, and that's it. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. <sighs> yeah, I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.